Oh yeah. So last time I was out here was like a long time ago. And they usually kept the classics up here, like just scattered out through over here. Like they had some modern cars like this, but you know, in, in between you'd see a classic in there. And then somewhere way back there, would you would also see some classics. That's the new yard over there. Well, not new, but that's where they keep the newer cars. And uh, see, back then you was able to get in here with two dollars, and then you'd have to pay a, a, an additional one dollar to get in there. But now they're doing uh, three dollars to get in and two dollars to get in there. So they done jacked it up a little bit. It's all good, man. It's a lot of people here. So this is one of the one of the original salvage yards in Houston that go way back, like years and years and years and years before it was called lkq i forgot what it was called way before check this out so this here is where we want to be no they had two el caminos out of here one of them i believe said it was in row two i have no idea what row two is at back then they didn't have like online inventory we just come out here and just start walking through the whole yard see if we can find what we're looking for 14. i might have to turn this off right quick let me look because i took a picture of uh of my laptop that told me exactly where the el caminos were at so give me one second let me stop this so yeah i just seen the picture and it says uh section primo gm road 31 so we must have left the way back there but we'll go ahead and look at the pickup trucks because uh one of the mode c10 trucks have the same uh air conditioner set up and all i came for is the brackets like the ac bracket that one right there you probably have to change the whole power steering so i don't know oh let me look at this right quick oh this one got okay it's not what i'm looking for Oh, snaps. You know what? I've been looking for one of these center consoles. I don't want all that. I just want this here. It doesn't have the shifter on here. So this is perfect. And it's like squared off, so it looks kind of old school. You know what I mean? Ooh, what happened there? This truck got burned. But let me keep looking. That center console ain't look too bad either. It looked like uh, maybe a couple of screws will get it fixed. Take a look at that red pickup. Might be like Vortec engine, same deal with the AC brackets. Oh, it's a suburban. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Oh, well, let's keep looking. I don't think I'm gonna find any of that stuff over here. Nah, my best bet is to go look for the Mel Caminos. Some of these cars don't even hit the yard. They just come in here straight for the scrap. Look at all them cars back there. It's a gang of cars. So, I'm pretty sure when they get the old screws in here, they hit straight to the scrap because the old screws are pretty heavy. Let me get, let me look at this one more time. Uh, yeah, these are jacked up right here. But I do like this. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But I can find a good one like that. Some guy told me about these sheets consider putting these in the El Camino because I got some fire seats and they look too modern for that car. But now that I'm looking at these, like these is kind of tall for my car, for my El Camino, so I don't know. It's a no-go. So this is what I came to look at. And they charged me another $2 to come in this side where they're supposed to have all the new cars, but I don't know why they threw the El Caminos over here. They probably figured that they'd make uh, more admission money for the people who came and looked at them. But see, this one got the old 
the older style AC compressor. I don't know if the brackets are the same or not. Like those sandwich brackets that are on the compressor itself. I have no idea. Let's see some. That's actually for the headliner. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll be the same. Uh, maybe somebody could chime in and leave a comment about that. See, she said the brackets on this side of the yard cost $16.99. And on the other side of the yard, they cost uh, $4 and some change. Actually, I didn't even finish showing y'all this El Camino. My fault. Look, they ain't got nothing left in it. No headliner. Some visors are all jacked up. Somebody took half the instrument cluster. Dashboard is broken. Steering column broken. It's missing the shift stick. Both panels is gone. But you know what's good on this El Camino though? Like this top here. Like I'd probably cut a piece off to weld it on mine because mine got rushed all like right there. I would probably just cut like a like a DVD size box or something. I don't know because I just got rust like up here and on the same exact area on the other side. I got like some little bubbles here and there, but it's nothing major. But here's why I got rust on mine. So, you know what, this El Camino is decent for for its year and for how much rust it would have. Let's see what else they got. We got the Conquista trims. Took the bumper. Take the latch in the back. Take the oh, matter of fact, you know I didn't even look because I'm missing my bumper covers, or bumper fillers rather. I'm missing the one on the driver. Yeah, this one boo boo. I know a lot of people are missing this this part here. This one good too. Nah, this one broken. Broken right there. But LKQ. Houston, Wallaceville, if anybody want to come and take a look at this El Camino. Uh, man, they shouldn't have put it on this side of the yard because everything off this El Camino is going to be very expensive. Let's go see if we can find the other one. I don't see none from over here. Oh, I see it. It's a black one. Come through this side right quick. I'm going to just look at this. I ain't going to buy none. Because those brackets I'm looking for, I, they don't have to be off of El Camino. I seen them yesterday at another salvage yard. I should have grabbed them. I just didn't know exactly what I needed. But now that I know what I need, uh, I know they're at the other yard, so I'll just go over there and get them. And uh, this header panel look better. Let's see. Oh yeah, this header panel complete. Like it ain't, it ain't broken or nothing. Broken right there, but that ain't none. I'll fix that real quick. All oh, this outside is good. Actually, it's broken right there, but still, I can still fix that. Yeah, I got an 81 with the original 81 uh, nose or front, whatever, header panel. But uh, I just like the uh, 81s, be I mean, uh, 78s because of, because of this space right here. You got a space in between the grill and the bezel. And on my 81, it's just like, it's all continuous. It's like the, the grill is right beside the bezel. It doesn't have this space, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I like about this model here and also like the lights if you look at them kind of from the side they're like angled you know what i'm saying and mine's are just like straight flush flat i mean 81 is cool but the thing is i had an 81 malibu and every time i take a look at my el camino i'm like man i didn't have this front end already like on my other car like, i want something different yeah this one also had that ugly sweep style no headliner this part's still good if anybody need it this look good uh what else are good that floor gone oh yeah out of there man my fault was i blocking the view the whole time my thumb was in the way my fault. <sighs> yo ain't nothing good in here Let's see what that see this one look good up here too i don't understand how people just throw their classics away all you would have got for this one from these people is probably like no more than two hundred dollars. Um, kind of wheels is them. Oh man, you know what? I ain't even come and look at what I'm supposed to look at. The AC brackets. So uh, this one ain't got none. 
Because they took them off long ago. 350. Sometimes it makes you wonder what these cars been through. You just start wondering what have these cars seen? Where have they been? I guess go back to the other salvage yard. Uh, maybe this weekend. I don't know. Kind of tired for this week. I don't really want to go. But that's all she wrote. I'm gonna close this video out and uh, keep looking for them AC brackets, man, because it's hot in Texas. Every car needs AC, man, because it is super hot. Very hot. Adios.